Hi, it's you and Ellery here making bonsai in Australia and in this video I'm going to do an update on my Jade bonsai. So it's been eight months now, just over eight months since I first did a video on that, on this. And in that video I did a repotting and I also um, pruned it back quite severely at the time. So yeah, it had been in this pot as a very large Jade. Um, so I pruned it back, put it in a much smaller pot. Um, and then a lot of the cuttings that I that are pruned off, I actually planted um, in this pot and others. So what I'm going to do today as well is, um, given I've got the majority of the larger cuttings in this pot, and they've all rooted, they've been doing quite well, um, I'm also going to take those out just to um, ideally have one large one in this pot to get even bigger, uh, and then put the rest into other smaller pots so I can start to refine those as one size as well. Um, in the future. So albeit the fact that yeah there's not a lot um, on here yet so I pruned back really severely just to the um, yeah, basically just to a bit of a stump on a couple of branches here um, so I will leave a, a link to that video above so you can check that out but albeit the fact that it is um, yeah these new branches there's probably only about four or so inches of growth on each of those um, and you might be wondering why I'm pruning it back at this stage and not letting it grow a lot bigger. And the main reason for that is, um, so you can kind of see from, from that angle at least in the top where I've pruned it. Um, so you can see the stump there and it's got multiple branches coming out of each of these stumps. Um, so the reason why I want to actually remove that is to have only one or two coming from each of those. Um, and the main reason for that is I, look, there's a bit of taper that I'm starting to develop in this now, having gotten such a big thick jade and, and pruning it back. Um, but what's going to happen if I have multiple ones growing from the same location, that certain point is going to be become really thick, possibly inverse taper, who knows with jades. It's going to have a very abrupt um, change in, in the thickness of the trunk down here and then moving into those branches. So with time what I want to do is have one or two branches coming from each of these stumps um, so that they're uh, basically with time it'll become more of a natural flow in the taper from the main trunks into those branches. So the, the intent here is to have this as the front of the tree, um, given you can kind of see that nice little root spread which is growing down into what is becoming moss on a jade. Uh, <laughs> didn't plant it, it's just naturally been growing. But uh, but yeah, so it's got the taper down the bottom. Um, this will be the front because you can see the, the taper on the, the root base there. Um, so that being the case, what I kind of want to do is get rid of some of the branches that are impeding the view of the trunk um, so there's two branches coming out from the exact same spot here. Um, well, three branches coming from the exact same spot. So um, I'm going to prune off the main one which is kind of coming out towards the viewer from the front. So that then starts to open this up quite a bit so you can actually see the, the cut there of the, the trunk. Um, now there's a couple of other branches, so got rid of that big one, there's one, two other branches that are kind of coming out this way, um, which could be okay, but the thing with this is, um, yeah, look, I've already got this other um, large branch that is coming out this way, so if I've got more from this primary branch coming out in front of the tree, it's just going to obstruct the view for these other ones, so I'm going to get rid of these as well. Right, so there's now, um, yeah, so that main branch there, which is kind of coming forward a little bit. Um, so there's primarily kind of three branches here. Now they're all coming out. Um, so yeah, there was a, a bud that um, kind of exited. So the one branch, um, but then it's got three different branches coming off of this. So. Um, so I could leave those all. Um, they will kind of meet my purpose of trying to get the taper given that they're all coming out from this branch instead of the, the thick one. Um, but I do kind of want to get rid of some of them. So there's a little tiny one inside there just coming straight back in um, towards this other separate branch. So I'll get rid of that. Um, and yeah, again, so there's kind of three. So got this one here which goes straight up which I do kind of like 
Um, there's a larger one there, and then there's another one that kind of comes out um, straight out, kind of towards the viewer a little bit. So, yeah, I really don't want it coming straight out towards the viewer, so I'm gonna get in there, cut that one off. Okay, so, um, and then there's two little branches kind of coming off. There's, um, yeah, so another little small stump at the back of that main branch. Um, and there's two branches coming off there. So there's one there, which is kind of coming out semi-horizontal um, and a little bit forward, but not not too bad. It's kind of coming out in an angle. So it's not coming straight towards the viewer, which is good. Um, and then there's another one there. So look, I'm actually going to leave both of those just to get a lot more bigger. Um, yeah, there's a lot better taper in this area. They're both coming out with this smaller branch. So it's not going to have any impact on um, developing good taper over time. So I'll leave both of those. Now I'm just going to start working on this um, secondary trunk. Um, which is actually at the back of the tree. So there's this little one which is kind of coming in internally um, just between those two main trunks so we get rid of that and then it's going to be a question of which of these branches do I want to keep so there's this one here which is kind of sweeping out in front and you know it kind of be could be cool if it kind of came out further that way but I think having it horizontally kind of moving out forward um, yeah, it's kind of going in the direction that I kind of want, but I think it's going to be better to open that up a little bit just so you can see that, um, yeah, the, the actual trunk there and, and see that from the front, which is another reason why I'm going to get rid of that little small one. All right, so really opening up here. Um, and then there's a few here at the back. Um, again, I've got a situation where, you know, there's one here on the side, um, but then one of the ones at the back, it's kind of coming out of that larger section of the tree, um, and it diverges into two, maybe three um, little branches as it leaves this trunk. So again, it's not going to impact the, the table, um, and I think I'll leave those there just so that I've got more options in the future. So. Yeah, a really basic update today. Um, but yeah, just trying to, to show you what I'm doing to, to really start eliminating some of those branches so I can start focusing on the branches I do want um, and really start to work and, uh, and yeah, really kind of <laughs> fixing this tape and making that look a lot more natural over the years to come. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side now and start working on the others. I'm just gonna loosen these up in the pot. I haven't been in there for too long, it's not too bound, pop bound or anything, just want to see if I can access them a little better. So I don't want to try and rip these out, so it's going to be awkward trying to take them out without damaging them too much. And it also seems as though I've got a little ant nest in here. I'm gonna try and get rid of some of these. Shit, wow. So you can see all of the, yeah, the eggs from the ants there. All that white stuff. They've really, um, really got a full one nest here. So I'm just trying to leave some of the soy on the bottom so hopefully I don't, um, you know, kill the whole, all of them. So... Just take them out one by one. Try and leave some of that soy on the bottom. So now that I've gotten rid of the, the ant nests and, and everything else, so um, yeah, you can see I've got uh, um, uh, quite a number of little stumps that I've planted from that original J that have um, yet yeah, successfully rooted. So all of these ones from this pot have rooted, um, along with yeah, a bunch of little things that I didn't intend on rooting.
Right, so here is my jade bonsai. So yeah, as you can see um, from having pruned this back eight months ago, um, I've actually gotten every single one of these cuttings that are planted in the large pot down there um, to actually grow. So yeah, now, now I've got the stock here for um, quite a few bonsai to come. So look, I hope you enjoyed this video or took something from it. If you have, then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified of my future videos as I release them. And do just make sure to hit that little bell symbol so that it actually sends you notifications. But look, thanks for your time today. Enjoy, bye.